everyone, it's me, Julian Greystoke. Today I'm wearing my Ang shirt. Today we are going to talk about writing and when you have all of those great story ideas in your head, how at least I choose what my next thing to write is going to be. Now this is very personal, this is how I do it, but if this does help you, then that's awesome. So, I, like many, many authors, have lots of ideas for stories percolating in my brain. I usually, when I get an idea, go write down the bare bones of it in a word file labeled story ideas, imaginative I know, where I give them a reserve for later. But how do I go about choosing what is going to be my next story? Well, a lot of the stories that I have in reserve are kind of always circling somewhere in the back of my brain, but eventually one begins to come forward. This inevitably happens while I am somewhere in the editing process of my previous book, because my brain is a jerk and wants me to think about the new thing that I want to write instead of the thing that I should be working on. The story that I'm going to write next usually begins to sort of come forward into part of my brain that is actively paying attention to things. It begins to stand out. I begin to ask questions about the world and the story. One thing that usually happens first is that characters begin to come forward and introduce themselves. I'm very, very character oriented, so it's no surprise that the characters are one of the first things I start to get ideas for. I usually start to begin drawing those characters, I begin shaping their personalities, figuring out who they are, before often I have even figured out how the book is going to go. But that is usually a surefire sign that this book, this idea, is going to be the next thing when the characters really start to assert themselves. Another way I can tell that this is going to be my next thing is I can't stop thinking about it. It is in my brain. Whatever I'm doing, it is there in the forefront shouting at me, figure out these details, figure out these details, ah, can't you just not wait to write me? And I'm like, yes I can wait to write you because I don't know enough details about you yet. I start discussing it with my husband, he gets inundated with all of my ideas, and then he gets to help me figure out all of the giant gaping huge holes that I have in the plot that barely exists before I actually sit down to write it. And with me, while I may hate the editing process, I finish what I start in that when I start writing a story, I pretty much concentrate on that until the first draft is finished. I don't allow myself to go off and write a lot of other side stories. I don't allow myself to start any new big stories, like I can write short stories in there, whatever, maybe a little like fan fiction. But I do not allow myself to write more than one first draft of a novel at a time, and so I need to know that I am serious about this story because it usually takes me about a year to finish a first draft, so it's a year's commitment just for the first draft. So I have to be serious about the story. But thus far, this method has not failed me. I know sometimes as authors, we can worry that a new idea is not going to come. Oh no, what if I'm out of ideas? Well, my brain handily doesn't really do that, which is annoying for my editing process. I, I see ideas stretching out into infinity. I will write all the books. So this is how it works for me and how I choose the one. Some of you out there might have a problem because perhaps your brain will push more than one thing at you. My advice for that is to really give it a little bit of time and let the ideas percolate around in your brain. As soon as you get an awesome idea, don't sit down and begin writing it immediately. I highly recommend that you give all of your ideas a chance to sit around in your brain and the one that sticks, the one that stays, the one that demands details is the one that you should probably write. If the other ideas that maybe aren't the ones that you should write won't get out of your brain, consider maybe plotting them a little bit if you're a plotter and seeing if that gets the juices going or scratches that itch. Or if you want to, maybe write a couple disjointed scenes and see if this is the story that's going to be your next baby. Remember that you can always write down these ideas in a word program or something to save them for later. They don't go bad. They're not like fruit. Remember guys, I post new videos about writing and bookish things usually Mondays and Fridays here on this channel. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo, so go check all of those out. I'm usually pretty personable. I almost never bite. And I will see you guys again next time with whatever it is I happen to be talking about next time. Bye!